Hello everyone, welcome to Aptera Owners Club. In this video, I'm going to talk about um, the computational fluid dynamics software that Aptera used. And we found out today via tweet and their Facebook post that the computational fluid dynamics software package they're using is from airshaper.com. And um, that's very interesting. Airshaper is a relatively small company, and this is their website. And you can see that um, Aptera is right here as one of their major customers. And, um, you know, this is computational fluid dynamics is something that uh, has been growing rapidly. And, oh, and see, here's the Aptera. You can see the turbulence uh, in red here. And there's the airflow. And you can see where the pressure is. The air pressure is um, color coded here in red. Um, and you see how turbulent the uh, motorcycle is. Uh, one of their other customers is a motorcycle manufacturer. They have a lot of athletes um, and skiers and uh, Red Bull and things are uh, are their customers. The, uh, the major uh, software package used in the automotive industry is by this group called EXA Software. They have a... Um, thing called power flow and that's where most of them use you can see how like that terra looks very similar to this airplane um, so this is the power flow um, it was exa was bought out by Dassault systems and they have power flow which does a computational fluid dynamic simulation software and um, most uh, of the vehicles these days don't use wind tunnels in fact tesla um, VW, BMW, Jaguar, they all use this EXA software. And EXA said that they did, Jaguar, sorry, Jaguar did no wind tunnel verification for their XC. And I think most, this is a article back from 2015, and I think this is the direction that most um, places are moving to. Large automotive manufacturers used to build their own um, wind tunnels, which are extremely expensive to do their testing. Um, but now, um, CFD software has gotten so good that um, a lot of places don't feel like they need to even validate the results. They do all their development on um, uh, CFD software, and then once they have finalized the model, then they go to the wind tunnel. The wind tunnels um, have some issues, uh, which uh, mainly have to do with Reynolds number. Reynolds number is um, calculated by the fluid density, the uh, stream speed, and the length of the um, uh, uh, of the model so of the the model or the actual vehicle so usually when they use a wind tunnel they use a scaled model i guess with a car you don't have to make a scaled model but for airplanes they always use a scaled model in the wind tunnel and the if the reynolds number is significantly different then the um, wind tunnel results can be completely off from the actual um, vehicle so um CFD software, you can run the full size through the simulation. And what I found out is that basically um, CFD software is quite good at uh, determining laminar flow. And it's not quite as good uh, when flow gets very turbulent. So that works out well for Aptera because Aptera is, uh, has mostly very laminar flow. So CFD should um, be very accurate in um, the modeling of the Aptera. Uh, see, you see the amount of turbulence around it is very, very little. So most of it is very, and the, the CFD software does a very good job of uh, determining the laminar flow and the pressure areas and uh, measuring drag and those kinds of things. And um, it was very interesting to find out that Aptera decided to go with a smaller company rather than a larger company. I, I believe it's probably for two reasons. I'm just get, uh, guessing here. It's probably because uh, Airshaper is much cheaper than PowerFlow um, and uh, gave them a much better deal. And also Airshaper is a small, uh, relatively small uh, company like Aptera and they got a lot more um, personalized service from them. So I think it was a better fit a small startup company going with another st small startup company. Um, and uh, these, the uh, software appears to be pretty good. Probably the PowerFlow does some, some things that um, 
that Aptera wasn't uh, super interested in, you know, air acoustics and thermal management, that kind of stuff is probably less important. Um, air Shaper, I think, just concentrates on the aerodynamics rather than the aeroacoustics or the um, thermal, uh, thermal management of it. Um, which with a very efficient vehicle that's very aerodynamic, you would uh, you know that the aeroacoustics are going to be good anyway. Um, so that was something that I, I bet that they are, are, are just being wise um, in the way that they're spending money, which as an investor, I'm pretty happy about. But anyway, if you want to check out Airshaper, this is their, um, uh, this is their website, airshaper.com. And um, it's very interesting to see that uh, uh, Aptera is um, on their front page. All right. Well, if you have any comments, uh, you can comment below. And thanks for watching.